Hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to something new. It's new to me also. I'm still figuring it out. It's from Magnolia. It's called a pyro pin. So I'm going to show you some things you can do with it, tell you what I've learned, tell you what the um, my mistakes have been, uh, and just give you a ton of ideas about this. And um, anyways, I think that once I figure it all out, it's gonna be amazing. Um, so as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle all that normal stuff. I'm just putting, right now I'm trying to pin a link I think I did it, I don't know. Let me try one more time. Um, I am going to pin a link to the pyro pin so that you can go check it out. Um, it's not a, there we go. Okay, it's not a big expensive thing. It's like $12.99, so, and it just gives you some variety. So let me tell you the basics, okay? Um, first of all, this is what it looks like, all right? It's like a pin. It, ha it comes with one extra tip, and the tip has a rounded side and an angled side. So it'll be in, this will be inside the package. Do not throw it away. Hang on to this. Although I've been playing with mine quite a bit, and the tip of mine is still just fine, and there's still lots of the, the um, burning, whatever this, uh, pyro sauces inside of this pin. So that's how it comes. And I did pin a link with some flames and an orange heart right down here, direct to the pyro pin if you wanna go take a peek. Um, there's tons of different things that you can do with it. You can do, of course, all kinds of wood projects. Um, and I am just getting started experimenting. You can use it on um, cork. I'll show you something that I have been working on with that. Where is it? Here it is. Um, and you can use it with stencils. So, although I've only just started fiddling around with it, I just got mine, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and I played with it a little bit last night and then some this morning. Um, I, so I haven't done a ton with it, but I really like the fact that you can use it with the stencils. And it does not hurt them one single bit. You wash them out exactly the same. Um, they come out just completely fine. So that's pretty cool, huh? And this for $12.99 is a whole lot less expensive, less dangerous, and has a lower learning curve than learning to use, purchasing a real uh, wood burner with all the different tips that you would need. I mean, those can be, they can be up to thousands of dollars and learning how to use it. So for $12.99, I think this is a, a pretty fun little crafting item to have. Okay, so a couple of things that I have done were I used some of the farm minis earlier to burn this cute, this is a stencil from Magnolia also, and you can look at it once you go down here to the pyro pin, just click on stencils. It's called a Farm Mini, and this is a, just a piece of inexpensive, I don't even know what you call this. It's like a to make a little sign, and I think this one came from Walmart. It was a package of four for about $5, so it's not super good quality wood, and um, I don't know. I had a pretty good result with that. Um, let's see. So right now, I, I need to learn more and practice more, but I'm personally right now loving it more just to freehand things. But let me show you how my rolling pin turned out, which I think is pretty amazing for saying it was pretty much the first thing I ever made. This is a stencil that says, all you need, K-N-E-A-D, ha ha, is love. And the, um, the love has an O made out of a big pretzel. So this is actually burned into this rolling pin. I burned it on there. We're gonna actually do it, so stay with me. 
I burned it in there. Um, I had to go back and fix a couple things, which you can totally do. And then I washed it, and this is what it looks like. It's permanent, and you could use this. This is a rolling pin that you could actually use. This one came from my local Goodwill. You know how I'm always on the hunt for these for uh, a dollar or two at my local Goodwill. So anyway, so yeah, that turned out pretty darn cute. I have tons more thoughts of things that I want to do. This is a coaster that I made, which did not turn out so great. And I think it's because you, ha and everybody's gonna have to learn, just like with stencils or any other kind of craft projects, you sort of get the feel for it. I don't think I used enough of the wood burning stuff that's in the pen on this cork. But I love the idea that you can do it on cork. And also this is not very good quality cork. So now that I'm filling it, this side is much smoother and this side is rougher. That's probably why I didn't get a super great result. Um, so let me show you a couple more things and then we're gonna actually do a spoon. All right, this is something that I made earlier and I just washed it, it's just drying. This is one of those bamboo forks. Um, I got a set of two of these from my local Goodwill. And I'm really loving being able to write on things and doodle and that kind of thing. So I just put, give us this day our daily bread. And then I did some little dot, dot, dots and a little swirly do below it. And um, I burned it and then I washed it and it's permanent and it's food safe and everything. So that was one project that turned out really great. This was, <laughs> this is one of those Dollar Tree little crosses um, that you can get. And I was just fiddling around. I really wish I had better handwriting, darn it. That and a singing voice, but God did not bless me with those things. Um, so in my cruddy handwriting, I was just fiddling around. This was $1, so it's a good thing to learn on. And I wrote, I love you on that side. And then on this side, I was doodling and I wrote, for God so loved the world. I did not get my spacing very good here. Anyway, so this is not really a keeper. This was just a practice. Um, and you can see that this wood, where it's sort of rough, you're gonna get a little bit of this feathered, this like a, a teeny little bit of bleed. Okay, and this side, I guess, was not quite as rough. Um, and so I got a better impression. My favorite thing though that I've made has been the other spoon that's gonna go with this one. And I just free-handed this vine on here. Um, and then this side I am working on. We're gonna fix a spot right here. And I'm gonna tell you what needs to happen. So if you are like actually artistic, holy cow, you could completely go to town with this. Um, I just need to study up a little bit on what are some wood burning designs because most of them are pretty simplistic. It's just, I have not ever done that before. Okay, so how do you actually use it? Well, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do no matter what you're working on is you're gonna wanna sand it because you need a really smooth surface. And there needs to be something, I guess, for the, the, um, the pyro sauce that's inside of here, some way for that to penetrate into the wood, okay? Um, so I just started with some 120 grit sandpaper. We'll do that on this spoon right here. Let's see where are my fingers. And this, um, this spoon right here was probably around a dollar and it came from my grocery store. And it's just a bamboo slotted turner, nothing fancy. But we use a lot of these things at our house. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is sand it really good. And I think on this one over here that we're gonna fix, I missed an area. And there was still a little bit of varnish or something on it that I didn't get off. So there's one side. So 
and it's exciting to watch me sanding a bamboo spoon. Okay, so that was the, the more rigorous sandpaper. Now I'm gonna switch to what I have on hand, which is 320, which is pretty darn fine, okay? And I just have it wrapped around one of these sanding blocks. So no matter what you're doing, I think it is important that you sand it first. I did sand that rolling pin. Um, like I said, it came from the um, my Goodwill, so it wasn't like in super great shape anyways. Okay, so this is what I have. I'm gonna grab a paper towel and just wipe the dust off of it a little bit. Um, I didn't say any of my normal stuff, or maybe I did, I don't know. Um, say hi when you're joining um, on this video. I am introducing the new Magnolia Pyro pin, which is a way to use a pin and the formula in here and actually burn a design into wood, but safe, not like, um, well, I mean, not dangerous like what I would imagine if you had a real wood burning tool. And this little guy here is only $12.99, where if you were gonna buy an actual wood burning tool and all the tips, you could spend thousands of dollars. Um, so I'm, I'm introducing this. I haven't figured everything out about it, but I'm starting and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, so let's fix this spot right here. It, the, um, the sauce and the pyro pin just did not wanna sink in there. So, and I think it's because I didn't get that area sanded good enough before I did it. And so this, this bamboo piece here must have some, uh, some, some kind of a sealer on it. Can you see where I'm talking about? So we're just gonna fix that. Now, if the comments are in your way, which I hear this every day, um, I have no control over where Facebook puts our comments, and unless I was going to do the crafts on top of my head, um, we're just kind of stuck with this, but you can swipe them away. And depending on what device you're on, you're going to either swipe them left or right or up or down, and then you can bring them back if you would like to. Wow, I didn't see who gave me the stars, but thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, and I put a link right here at the bottom. It has a flame and an orange heart and another flame and it says pyro pin. Um, that is a link to directly to the pyro pin so you can check it out if you want. Okay, so we're gonna just go over this area and then I'll show you how you actually burn it. All right, and I'm just using some ceramics that I have in here. You're gonna prime, uh, prime your little pin a little bit so that that orangey stuff is all the way down to the tip. Can you see? When you get it new, it won't look like that. I need a paper towel. All okay. So I just pushed it down to get the, the pyro sauce flowing. And now, I am just going to put my glasses on so I can see. And I'm going to finish my design. Whoops, I did not do a very good job with that. Oh, well, I'll fix it. Okay, so you can see where the, um, it's kind of orange. Can you see that? That's the pyro sauce that comes out of the pin. So you wanna apply it, whether it's going over the top of a stencil, which I will show you in a separate video, or by freehand. This is just the first time I'm just introducing it. It's brand new. Okay, and then I am using my heat gun which I ordered from Amazon, and I will put a link in the comments if anyone wants to see it. It was about $15. It's, 
It's nothing fancy. It's Chandler Tool. It's made in the United States. It came in like, I have, we have Amazon Prime, so it came super quick. It has two speeds, uh, or two temperatures, I guess. You can also use a blow dryer on hot if you don't have this and don't, don't want to get it. This is good for drying your projects too. I never had one until just like this week. Okay, so I'm turning mine on the hottest. And you can see how where that orange sauce is, it's starting to turn black. figured out is um, to to turn it on and burn it for a minute and then turn it off for a second and then burn it one more time and it's going to look darker until you wash it so the rest of the spoon has already been washed that's why this area is going to look darker because it hasn't been washed yet and it will totally blend in with what I had before Okay, it's super quick. So, what I love about this is it's permanent. If you mess something up, you can just sand it off and do it over. Um, you can actually use these. I don't know about the dishwasher, but I, I would put these in the very, very top rack. That's what I would do anyways if I was gonna wash um, any of our bamboo spoons or servers like this in the dishwasher, so. There we go. This one I did these little silly little flowers. Obviously, I'm not much of an artist. This one I just did vines and little dots. It turned out pretty cute. And let's work on one from start to finish. So we sanded it, if you're just joining us. We sanded it with a um, 120. That's what I had. And then we went back over it with a 320. And then I wiped all the whatnot off of it. And I'm just going to um, do some doodles. I'm gonna do some lines and I don't know. There's so many things you could do. So you wanna shake your pen and prime it just a little bit so the pyro sauce is coming out of the tip. I'm working with the angled right now, but when I was doing the stencils, like when I did this one, all you need is left. I used the rounded tip. I don't know that it really matters which way you do it. Okay, so. I'm just going to start um, I really don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, let's do some more lines right here. Okay, let me show you what I did. If you had a, okay, could not see that comment. Let me see what you just said. Uh-oh, oops, I'm sorry. I think you can put a coat of, ver of polyurethane or some sort of sealer over the top. Her daughter has a set from Africa that has stripes, dots, and waves on them. You know what, I've, well, if your daughter could take a picture of that and you could share it with me, I would love it. I'm gonna do some dots, what the heck. I have a hard time being um, not symmetrical. Let's do some little waves.
Okay, so let's say that's good enough. I'll show you. I do want to remember to show you a few things I bought at my local Goodwill. Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember. Uh, to use to sort of get to know my pyro pin. They were all super inexpensive. Okay, can you see that design on there? So, let's just turn this baby on. You can see how it's gonna start to turn dark. That's the stuff, the pyro sauce, actually burning the wood. Okay, I have no idea if this is a good design or not. It probably isn't, but I am not a pro at this yet. I've all, this is only just me learning. But look how cute! Can you imagine the possibilities of things that you could do? And what a sweet gift. Get, get three of these bamboo spoons. I like the ones that have the rectangle handle rather than the round skinny ones. Get three of these, sand them up really good, do some designs on them, and give them, put, tie them all together with a, a ribbon or something right here, and that would make a sweet gift. And you can pick these up for a dollar, a dollar fifty a piece. Um, once I am a little more familiar with it, I'll have some more ideas about uh, designs. Okay, let me show you a couple more things. So also. Oh, hey, and if you're just joining us, I do want to make sure that you know that when you get your pyro pin, it will come in a little clear wrapper. It's going to have an extra tip on it inside of the package. Do not throw that away because you might want it later. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that. So this was something I bought for $2.99 at my Goodwill. I'm not sure whether I can use the pyro pin over something like this that looks like it's been stained and possibly have some type of a varnish on it. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. And for $2.99, it, it will be in an educational investment if it's a complete disaster and I'll just toss it. Um, but for $2.99, this is gonna give me some good practice. Okay, also I, I've never seen these ever, ever before at my Goodwill. Can you believe that? And look, a giant one, a wood slice, a giant wood slice, and it's in good shape. I can't imagine why it was donated, but it was $2.99, and these are like, if you're gonna buy something like this at Hobby Lobby, this size, they're probably $10 at least. So I paid $2.99 for it. I will do the sanding thing really good because this is pretty furry and I'll try both sides and um, this is going to be another <laughs> educational learning thing that if I completely mess it up I'm going to try a stencil on this one I'll just toss it so I recommend you get some stuff like that okay and then this is just a cutting board that for sure has been used I haven't washed any of this stuff yet. Um, and it was $2.99. And what I would like to do is figure out how to use this pyro pen and some stencils to do some cute cutting boards and cheese boards and things like that. Magnolia has some amazing stencils. I don't have all of them out, but I did get a couple of new ones that I want to show you that I think would be fun for on a, a cutting board or a um, bread board or cheese board. Okay, this one says rise and shine, and it's a rooster. And this one says don't go bacon my heart. They're totally silly, but these would be super fun. Um, let's see. Also, I think it would be lovely um, to do some of these cutting boards 
for Mother's Day or for no occasion whatsoever if you want, and just put something in the corner. Like these are from the Proverbs quad set. This one says her children rise up and call her blessed. It's a Proverbs 31 verse. There's three others that come in this set and these are back in stock. If you've been wanting them, grab them soon. I also think it would be really sweet to just do, I don't know, whichever one you want. This is, a, these are newer. They're called Love, uh, Christian Love Quads. And they're called quads because you get four in the package. And these are verses. Um, I think they're from 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13. And this is the one that says, love is patient, love is kind, love is blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I think that it would be really nice to make some different boards and things that just have something like this off the side. Or Magnolia has this beautiful stencil that is this way that says, give us this day our daily bread. Wouldn't that not be amazing on there? Um, so I'm going to experiment and continue learning. And next time I come back with uh, some more pyro pin projects, I will know a little bit more. I will have learned, made mistakes, figured things out. Um, and I'll be able to share more tips with you. But you know what? I would really love your help as well. So if you're going to get one of these pyro pins, and there's a link right down here, um, and you're going to play with it, I would really love it if you would send your tips. Tell me what worked for you and what didn't work for you so, so that we can all learn. Because this is my first week of even touching something like this. So I'm just at square one, just like all of you. And I would love to know what you figured out. Is there a certain kind of wood that works best? Is there a certain way to um, sand them that works best? How many layers of this should you put on? If you're using a stencil, should you put it on really heavy? Should you put it on light? Should you wipe it off before you take the stencil off? Should you let it dry before you do the heater thing? Um, those kind of tips. I would love to know what you, you guys think. So, aw, Fran said you're so inspiring. Well, thank you. I'm a total beginner, but <laughs> I'm pretty excited about what you can do with this. And if this is just a little taste of what is possible, done by somebody like me who knows abs has no clue what she's doing, I'm just figuring it out, then I can't wait to see what we can do once, once we know. Yeah, I will try doing a stencil next time. Um, well, let's see, do I have anything that we could... I don't really have a surface ready to go. Um, and I would need to wash all these things that I got at Goodwill and sand them good. And, um, but I will. So how about if I come back live hmm, Thursday afternoon? We're good. Thursday we're gonna do thrifting. We're gonna do treasure hunting and thrifting Thursdays. So Thursday we'll do that earlier in the day. And then later in the day, we'll come back and do some stenciling using the pyro pen. Does that sound good? I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. I have a hundred things lined up around this room in queue, ready to show you. Um, but I was so excited about this pyro pen that I just had to put everything on the back burner, no pun intended, and show you this. And if you wanna check it out, um, there's a link right here. And um, it's $12.99, so it's not a huge investment. And, um, I think that's pretty much all I want to tell you right now. So I hope you liked this um, introduction to the Pyro Pin. Let me know if you have questions. I'm going to hop off and answer. Read. I read all of your comments. That's so important to me. I feel like I'm getting to know a lot of you just based on that. Um, I am still hearing the thing about you not getting um, notices of when I'm going live. So... The only things that I know to increase the odds that Facebook will actually show you my videos are to do this 
or this um, to make a comment here. It can be abracadabra or it could be some, like hello <laughs> or it could be a serious question. I mean, it could be whatever you want. So to do this or this or to say something in the comments and the most important thing, most important thing is to look up, I don't know which side it's on, um, and make sure that you've liked and followed this page, DIY Dreaming. Because if you haven't, and I've, I, re, I shouldn't say religiously, I hate it when people say that. I systematically um, send out every single day invitations to people to like and follow DIY Dreaming. And I don't know, maybe those just go into a spam box or what. But make sure that you have liked and followed DIY Dreaming. If you want to see the next thing that we'll do, we'll do stenciling. How about, um, I'll get a couple of cutting boards. We'll do this one with something big. I'll practice first on the back side of it. And I'll do a smaller something, maybe another rolling pin, because I do have another one from Goodwill. We'll do some fun stuff um, on Thursday. So if you want to see that, make sure you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming, said something, given me a heart, a thumb, you know, uh, something like that. You can also look at your settings um, which are the three little dots that I think are in this corner. And you can set your notifications, but you know, I'm terrible with technology. I don't really understand how all that works. Anyways, oh, you guys are so sweet to me. Thank you for all the kind comments. Um, I hope that if you decide to get a pyro pin, that you will share your tips with me and with everyone else too. All right, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.